Hey everybody, this is Pastor Major with Faith Baptist Church, and I have some of these old Sword of the Lord uh, and magazines, editions, that were from the 40s and 50s. And in this one in particular, I wanted to show you something here, just to show you that back then, these men were preaching and teaching the reprobate doctrine. They maybe didn't agree it with us exactly on all points as far as exactly who is reprobate or not or so forth. But these men were clearly teaching that there are people that can come to a certain point where they can never be saved. And in this article by John R. Rice, you can see it right there, by John R. Rice, The Unpardonable Sin, and this was from Friday, July 2nd, 1948. And in this article, he says clearly right there, It is a definite sin against the Holy Spirit by a lost sinner who rejects Christ so definitely that the Holy Spirit is insulted and driven away forever. The sinner who commits it can never be saved. And of course, he goes on to describe there, things that are not the unpardonable sin, that a Christian cannot commit the unpardonable sin. He says here, enlightened sinners who reject Christ after great opportunities are most likely to commit the unpardonable sin. So again, he very clearly says back up here, the sinner who commits it can never be saved. And so right there, they are very clearly teaching the... Uh, reprobate doctrine. So this doctrine did not begin with Stephen Anderson. It did not begin with the new IFB. Of course, it is in the Word of God. The Bible is clear. And these men are teaching and preaching it. So the question is to you preachers out there that refuse to preach and teach it, why are you not? Because you're Heroes of the faith sure preach it and taught it. And there are some of us that still preach it and teach it today. It is in the Bible. So why are you not preaching and teaching this doctrine? Y'all have a good day. God bless.